some girl chat. Yes. Oh, oh, my God. God. Are y'all oh, ready for some girl chat? Yes. They're ready. All right, I know. Wow. Woo. Okay, wow. wow. Everyone say hello to our guest co-host. You know her from iHeartRadio and Power 105.1's hit morning show, The Breakfast Club. Yes. It's the lovely and talented Angela Yee. Listen, you know I love being here. I love girl chat. Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Are you ready for some girl chat? I'm ready. All right. Let's do this. <laughs> okay, now, Angela, I am dying to know. You just said you love girl chat. Is it because we're <laughs> girls here and you, know, you work with guys every day? I, I want to know what is it like working with Charlemagne the God? I know Ooh. a lot of people want to know, right? Yes. 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 What is he like? Well, just so you guys know, those guys girl chat way more than we do. Just so really? you Really? Know. Yes, they you do. You mean they gossip more than we do? They absolutely 100% do. Really? Be I believe that. What do but, they gossip about? Yeah. Listen, I, one day I had to just sit back and be like, I feel like I'm a guy in a room with women. They talk about all the rumors. You would think that they don't do that, but no they're way. so much more into it. They're on the blast. Did y'all see this? We have a group chat. Uh -huh. yeah. That group chat is like me and my girlfriends chatting no, about I, it. I yeah. love it. Wow. <laughs> Always about someone else's business. Right, but you know, it is crazy working that you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. So right. You never know if somebody's going to be mad about something. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I go out and people are mad at me because something, you know, Charlemagne said. <laughs> uh -huh. People will call you out on the streets? I, listen, I've been to clubs before where people have stopped me and like, you know, had something to say, yo. And I have to clear things up. But I also feel like you have to have his back. Like, we work together, yes. me and Vian Charlemagne, so. just like you guys all have each other's yeah. back, so we have each other's back. So, if you don't like me and you want to fight me, I guess we got to fight. If yeah, you and you like <laughs> Charlemagne. Let me find my girl here now. <laughs> She's half Asian. This is my sister. <laughs> yes. Half Asian. I mean, yes. but how do you handle it? Because, I mean, y'all have had, like, some, you know. Beef. Now, we thought we've had moments on this where we're like, this is awkward. <laughs> I know. You've had, like, real moments. How do you handle things Put like that? Put some respect on my name. Exactly. Right. How, yeah. how do you handle that? I guess in real life, we all have awkward moments. The only difference is that this is in front of millions of people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But those awkward moments are great stories for later. They go viral. So we yeah. did have that Birdman interview that you just referenced. Yes. <laughs> it was two and a half minutes long. I think we could anticipate it. Sometimes when things are about to go left, you feel it in the air. Right. Yeah. So we okay. saw him outside the studio kind of gearing up and kind of mad pacing. He came in, didn't say hello to anybody. Wow. Had, you know, four people in there and kind of oh. like, uh -huh. and I was like, what's about to happen in here? You yeah. Know? So, but the good thing is that Charlemagne doesn't back down, as you yeah. can see. Yeah. And so it's always important to be able to express yourself, even if someone's in front of you or they're not there, you just still have to express yourself. You can't back down yeah. from what you said yes. when they're not in the room. Was That's there correct. ever an unexpected... Like a guest who did something unexpectedly, besides Birdman. Like, yeah, it happens all like the time. Like, give us the most surprising guest to you. Hmm, <laughs> surprising guest? You want me to do it for yeah, you? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, what's the singer's name? Is she started going off? Oh, yeah, that was a Love and Hip Hop moment, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, which Oh, what was that? Yeah, it was a Love and Hip Hop cameras rolling type of moment. Oh, right. Oh. Like, what was it? Oh, the, <laughs> it was... Keisha Cole? No, it wasn't Keisha Cole. Who was it? <laughs> it was Kay Michelle. Kay it was Michelle, Kay that's Michelle. who it was. It was okay. surprising for everybody. Like, the label is like, what's going on? The guys are like, what's happening? But, you know, sometimes you just... My whole thing is this, and this is how I am in real life. Mm -hmm. If you start talking to me crazy, I'm not engaging in that. I'm just not saying anything. And I was just like... And she was, and she handled it so good. And it that's was cool. like, she just let her go, and she was just like... Okay. Yeah, you right. better you know? than me. Yep. And it diffused the situation. I don't know what Let crazy look crazy. Right. It, well, right. Just don't come up to the show again. That's all. Yeah. I mean, if you have yeah. a problem, don't come. Yeah, that. but it did go viral. Yeah, it did. And listen, uh, and be clear, like, when those happen, we could easily pull the interview. No one will ever see yep. it. But I think it's important to put those things out there. The great moments, the not-so-great moments, things don't go right. We put it all out there. That's important. Yeah. Donkey of the day. <laughs> okay. Oh, team. I know folks want to know about this. How does Charlemagne go about choosing donkey of the day? And you are ever a part of that. Can you like, explain what donkey oh, of yes. the day is oh, yeah. for people who don't <laughs> listen? <laughs> Donkey of the day is a person who does something really stupid, and as he says, they get the credit they deserve for being stupid. So a lot of times, Ooh. donkey of the day, we all know, like, just from what happened in the news, social media, who's going to be the donkey. You can see what the big stories are. Somebody does something yeah. really dumb, and you can say that person's going to get donkey of the day. So that's how we choose it. Sometimes in the room, it's a collaborative effort. Sometimes he already knows. Yeah. But some things are just a given. Like, if somebody does something crazy... 
their right. donkey every Like day. they rob a bank and leave their ID or something like yeah. that. Right. You're right. Or like, right. can we all be honest and real right now? Have we all had a donkey of the day moment? Oh, oh I live. I've been donkey, I'm, donkey I'm, of the day, by the way. On the I've show? been donkey of the yes. day, yes. For yeah. what? I was like, all right. Uh -oh. I was a little late to work because, you know, it's early. Yeah. But I was in a club the night before and I'm in the club <gasps> tweeting, oh, lyrics, no. songs, having a great time. And I missed the show. <gasps> oh, wait, what? That was donkey-ish, okay? You missed your own job? Yeah, because I was in the club. And it, it she, was no secret. She got turned up. But I'm hanging out with her, man. Wait, to but what happened donkey. when you realized that you weren't at work? I mean, were you still in the club? Or did you pass out and wake up and go, oh, crap, I'm not at work? What <laughs> Who happened? hasn't overslept? Okay. Oh, sure. okay. We all, we all, all overslept. It's just on the radio, yeah. it's very obvious. There's no sneaking right. in because yeah. I'm not there. So <laughs> Yeah, they don't hear your voice. So. Yeah, that's crazy. That's a donkey. Well, that's thank you for being so open about the show. We love you. We love the show. We love everybody. Keep it real. And somebody who's hero of the day is basketball star Shaquille O'Neal. He's come forward and offered to pay the funeral costs for a 13-year-old who uh -huh. accidentally shot himself while broadcasting on Instagram Live. Wow. Malachi Hemphill was handling a gun in his bedroom as friends watched him on the app when he shot himself at his home in Forest Park, Georgia. God, now, oh this God. story hit home with many teens and parents when it comes to the role that social media plays in people's lives and the dangers that come with it. Um, ladies, do you think that the platforms for these streaming apps give people nowadays, it, it, it gives more harm than good? This is such a sad story. I, know. I mean, I obviously, uh, you know, was trying to get more information. Obviously, we don't have the live video of what happened. Yeah. Right. The, the point is that this young boy is no longer here with us and how sad that is. My only issue is people putting blame on apps. Apps don't, you know, with everything that's going on now, obviously, the psycho guy that was going around and shot that man and was on, like, people are doing crazy things yeah. mm -hmm. on these live apps. The problem is, you guys, the live apps aren't doing it. The people are. Mm -hmm. That is like, true. You, yeah. can't, you have to take some level of accountability I for agree what we do. Yes. There's something even sadder than the app and the person that's going through whatever mental illness is happening in that moment. It's the people that watched and saw it yes. happen and said nothing to authority. Yes. That's the sadder part. Yes. Yeah. And Terrible. here's the thing that's deeper about this, because this really shook me. I couldn't sleep last night just really thinking about this. This has been going on for decades, everybody. It's not just social media. Social media has put the spotlight on it. In fact, in 1964, there was a woman by the name of Kitten Genovese, and 37 people watched her get shot the in front of her effect. New York apartment yes. and said nothing to a cop. They didn't and even yes. alert the price. Right, no right. one called. And the bystander effect study was then proven that the more people there are there, the less people are um, possibly going to do something, yeah. right? What? So then in 2009, so backwards. in my own state, California, Richmond, California, a 15-year-old girl was gang raped in front of right. 20 people for two and a half hours mm -hmm. and not one person Jesus. said a thing. So the problem is greater than that. It becomes now today, what are we doing? What Absolutely. are we doing as we see things like that? There are so many more cases that has happened on Facebook Live, Instagram Live. Um, so I think part of the solution, again, because I really just prayed about this. I'm like, what, what is there to do? Because it's just so We broken. have to care more about each other. Yes. 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 And, but, and, uh, yes. Yes. Number That's one. part of it. Um, I think, first of all, the power of social media is in the most powerful generation right now that understands it better and faster than mm -hmm. most of us here mm -hmm. is the next generation, the future, the students, the, the kids, right? So I wish that in schools we would implement in, implement in governmental classes, social studies, how long this has been going on and how they need to empower their moral duty as citizens moral. to see something, say something. We all need to have that. Repeat moral that. Yeah. Moral yeah. duty. I yes. want to say something to, uh, about the app. Because there is an issue with the apps. The reason why we're on TV, we're on radio, you can't say whatever you want to say on television and radio. It's called standards and practices. Right. Because we have live broadcasts now, you don't have standards right. and practices. Yes. Right. 
these apps and the companies that have it, they have billions of dollars. They're going to have to find a way to put in some type of standards and practices um, in those operating systems because um, what happened with, uh, with Malachi yeah, was I that he more. was speaking to his followers and somebody, you know, put said... The, put the clip put in. Put the clip in, and that's what happened. And, I, right. and, his, mother, and his mother said, to, to your point, yeah. don't monitor just... The app, monitor your children. Yes. Yes. Go in, look yes. and see what they're doing. Go in their room, search. I have to say, from a mother's you know, point of view, if this is the day and age that we are living in right now, what's going to be happening when my children you know, get older? What, what are they going to be doing there? And I agree with you, Lonnie. And I also agree with you, too. I think we need to find a middle ground. Like, there has to be some type of ramification, some type of consequences if you're going to be doing violent things on, you know, a uh, uh, live stream? Or can we find a way that we can, we can control this? Because it's only going to get worse. And I always like to think of the, the solution. Because if it's mm -hmm. happening now, and like you were saying, like these millennials, this generation, even my son now, my daughter, but she's not even two, she knows how to find PBS kids on my phone. I'm like, how did you oh, bypass my I'm password? That's right. How did they you do that? They watch. <laughs> yes. That's so what I'm saying. They're the so answer smart. can be so, in social media somehow. So can it be that maybe we should have an age limit? That maybe you need, hey, you need to be 21 and older some type to of monitoring. Monitoring. I think that. It's some type of monitoring system, like you were saying, Lonnie. Like, really look, you know, what's going on in the commenting section. And yes, Jeannie, we need someone to actually stand up and say something. If you see something weird, if you see someone say, say put something. the clip in, the other person who's watching it, say, no, don't do that. That's dangerous. Yeah. Say yeah. something. Yeah. Facebook has spoken out regarding this issue, saying, and I quote, as a result of this terrible series of events, we are reviewing our reporting flows to be sure people can report yes. videos and other material that violates our standards as easily and quickly as possible. Yeah. You know, yeah. because we have to say, and I want to um, say the 74-year-old man, Robert Godwin, who was shot um, by the crazed man who they finally found him and he's no longer with us. That video stayed up for hours and Facebook did apologize. Mm -hmm. But the pro that's what we're saying is that there is an issue with the apps because for that type of violence to be on for hours and, and no, no one, one says, you know, but from I that still company, blame it on the people. We got to do better. I we know, have to I do better. We yeah. fine. But yeah. that, Why that wouldn't video we say? was able to be because captured for hours. Uh, hold sick. on. That, that yeah. Yeah. video was able to be captured forever. I understand what you're saying. Yes. We, we still have, because we, this right. has been going Both. on for years. It's just that now we have technology that is going to push it out to more people yes. and we have to catch it I do immediately. Think I got it's one more important. I do think it's important to say one thing that they did learn by the bystander um, effect research is that all it took is one person to just stand out yeah. and stand up and do something yes. and then people started to follow. Absolutely. So there's a lesson in yes. that. Right. Yes. Don't what? be afraid. Yes. What? What is the sickness, though, in us as humans that we enjoy watching Because tragedy? there's good and evil. Why, why do people I know. do that something like that happens? I and instead of turning it. away, uh, let's be honest, when there's an accident on the side of the road, rubbernecking is what? Yeah. That means you want to we'll see nosy. what right. happened. You want to, it's why people go on blogs and gossip even, blogs. They want to hear and see the negative things. That, what we have to start checking our moral compass. We it's have to. We have to. We have yeah. start check, why? What is it inside of us that says you want to watch these things? And I strongly feel like in schools, because this is all very new, all the social media, right. all of the streaming, they do need to educate kids yes. on these dangers and on how this can affect your yes. life later on. Yes. Teach, us, teach the kids how to treat each other and learn that at home. And this has to be something that kids learn in school early on. Yes, yeah. absolutely. I also I, think you, laws could change more. Oh, For example, real. to date, there's only 10 <laughs> states that actually take action on witnesses who see a heinous crime and don't do anything about it. Only 10. Mm -hmm. So we should up that. And also, going back to the good news with what you said, we should continue, like we do on this show, yeah. to celebrate the citizens who do good. Yes. You'll notice on the yes. reels, we, we travel to other yes. states. We bring money. People should become famous citizens. because of that and not right. the other dumb things that people are doing. Yes. Definitely. Yes, that's agree. what we should be. There's a lot of work we got to do, but we're going to do it and yes. we're going to keep talking about it yes. on our show. And we can do it. good. That's right.